The member for Ottawa South. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It's really an honour to rise and recognize the important contributions of the right honourable John Napier Turner, Canada's 17th Prime Minister, and to talk about his life of public service to others. He entered politics in 1962, first running and winning at the age of 32, pretty young, served for three decades in federal politics in various roles as an MP, a cabinet minister of various portfolios, leader of the opposition, leader of the Liberal Party, and a prime minister. He served during some of the most challenging and turbulent times in Canadian history. Most notably as Justice Minister, he championed key reforms in the criminal code that opened the door to LGBTQ rights and a woman's right to choose. He also was a Justice Minister during the October crisis, which was a very turbulent and scary time in our country. He's also the Finance Minister during the uh, 1972, when many of you probably weren't born, uh, during the global oil crisis and a real financial challenge. And he was the voice of fiscal prudence at that table. So one of my memories of John Turner is the 1988 free trade, free trade debate and the passion and energy and the love that he had for Canada. I still remember it. And my wife jokes, it's the thing that got me off the couch and knocking on doors in 1988, uh, which eventually has led to me being here. And the mark that we can, the most important thing is, what do the people we work with have to say about us? So one of his fiercest oppo opponents, Minister Mulroney's dad, Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, said these things about him. He was a man of high principle who conducted himself with dignity, remembered as a parliamentarian who contributed a great deal to Canada. He symbolized what is best about Canada, a rare person and a true gentleman of Canadian politics. He was an accomplished lawyer, a Rhodes Scholar, a politician. Those aren't the things that are most important. It's how you connect to others. And he was a devoted son, a loving husband, a loving father. And that was evident to everyone around him. And he treated everybody with a genuine interest and respect. I'll tell you a little story. I first met John Turner on June 3rd, 1968. And he was campaigning in Ottawa Carlton. And he was up at the mall. So we all hopped on our, hopped on our bikes. We drove up to see him. And he talked to us, and I've got this kind of family famous picture of me with him in 1968 on the campaign trail in the Ottawa Journal. And I know that day that something clicked inside me. I don't know, I, at eight years old, I don't know how, but it did inspire me that month to go and say, I want to run in the mock election we're having in grade three. And I was really excited, and I got to be one of the candidates. But then I learned there are great disappointments in politics. So I wasn't chosen to be John Turner. I had to be his conservative opponent, Ken Binks. So you can imagine how devastated this nine-year-old was not being this person that he just met. What I also learned is, and I think John Turner is the epitome of this, you can overcome great obstacles. I won the election, and it was the only time that I voted conservative in my entire life. <laughs> so, but more importantly, the genuine interest that he showed in a bunch of nine-year-old boys was not episodic. It was not something that just happened that day. It happened through his life. He remembered people's names. He remembered important things about them. He wrote notes to people to thank them. Those are the things, our legacy, we can talk about our policies, and they're important. But they pass, times change, policies change, challenges are different. People have different opinions about what your legacy is. But the personal things and connections that you do every day, the small ones, are the ones that count and the ones that make the difference. And John Turner was always a champion at that. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. I'll now ask the House to rise.